Fred, so this Israeli election still too close to call. Just about 10 minutes ago at uh, 10 p.m. local time, the polls closed. They've been voting all day. This has shaped up really to be, frankly, the fight of Mr. Netanyahu's political life. It shows him neck and neck in the latest polls. Uh, I want to run you through those numbers quickly. Channel 12, as well as the state-run broadcaster, are essentially saying there have been 37 seats taken for Mr. Gantz's blue and white party to the 33 seats for Netanyahu's Likud party. Now, of course, Benny Gantz, his main rival, the blue and white party, really gaining some traction and some ground over the last several weeks, in particular on this election. This is, of course, an ex-army chief. This is a man, of course, who has been much like Mr. Netanyahu, frankly, beating the drum when it comes to security, national security of this country. And this is in spite of the fact that President Trump, the Trump administration, and folks in Washington have been coming out very, very strongly for Mr. Netanyahu. And it's very interesting to note that in spite of the fact that these are very, very early results coming out of these polls, Mr. Gantz is already claiming victory, according to his spokesman. So this, of course, a tight race to call. The numbers still, frankly, very, very, very close there. Channel 11 reporting 37 seats for the Blue and White Party, Mr. Benny Gantz, and 36 seats for Prime Minister Benny Netanyahu's Likud Party. Now, just a bit of background on this. There are 120 seats in the Neset, and you need 61 seats to have a coalition and to have a government. So most of these governments, of course, this is a parliamentary system. You need a coalition. The leadership has to be one that can bring folks from different parties together in order to form a government. And whether or not Mr. Gantz is going to do that may remain to be seen. Certainly, of course, in the past, Mr. Netanyahu has managed to do that time and time again. And if he were to hold on to this uh, leadership position as prime minister by July, he'll be the longest serving prime minister of Israel in the history of the country. So a lot of excitement, certainly, that we've been hearing on the streets, the folks we've been talking to saying again and again that this isn't just about security. Most of these elections in Israel really decided at the end of the day on the basis of security. But you've got two hawks holding the lead here between Mr. Netanyahu and Mr. Gantz. It's very important to point that out. And this, of course, against a backdrop of a booming Israeli economy. But frankly, folks on the ground telling me they're still deeply concerned about the things of daily life, higher costs of living, including real estate, really uh, making those paychecks go as far as they possibly can. So when it comes to security, they feel that these two candidates are the lead. But when it comes to the economy, uh, it may be some voter fatigue, at least for Mr. Netanyahu, guys.